All right, without further ado, let's get into the world of Fantasy Life Online and let's start our new adventure. I love this, this game so much. This game has a lot to offer. And just like in the 3DS version, Kana, you start off with a white screen. The mysterious powers residing in you. Please help restore Reveria to its former beauty. May this message reach you and touch your heart. Whoa! Hey, the character creation screen! I know, right? Now, I do remember you can make some crazy things in this character creation screen. So let's randomize a few things. <laughs> uh. Oh, what a what a head, what a head. Okay. I like how it all turned green. That's quite interesting. Let's do it again. Looks like a count or a duke of some sort. <laughs> oh, what? Pinocchio? What is this? All right, so let's speed this up and let's get on with my character creation screen. As you can see, there's a lot of new things and the game does look very nice with these new textures. Hopefully we'll see some of these customizations or more in Fantasy Life Online, which is coming this year. Wow. This would be a casual vibe there. For the name, King... Goose. Oh, thank God that fits. Let's see what random names there is there, actually. Justice Edwards? Ooh. King Goose. Okay, and here is my character creation. I do like this exactly the same one as in my 3DS one. Start the game with this appearance. Yes, please. Yeah! Oh. What a hassle. Yeah, let's leave it all to New Elliot. Wow. Wow, we actually agree on something. I hope we don't get stuck by doomstones or something. Don't bring me down to your level. I'm not a lazy bug like you. I'm only doing this to increase efficiency. What? But I haven't seen you do any work. Jeez. The world about to end, and you two are still lazing around. No, no. I'm well aware that the world is in crisis. Alright, just settle down. Anyway, the next God's Envoy goes to Blue Faction, Intelligent Rookies. And that's why I'm looking for a saviour to do our bidding. That's why... That's way inconsiderate. It's time to acquire the world with knowledge. Ugh. What's the use of knowledge? How is everything? Ugh. It seems like there is no way to solve this crisis. That's not true. The world is facing a crisis. I'm aware of that. That's right. That's why we need to find the one who can save the world. Uh, well, it seems the next envoy has arrived. What's next? <laughs> Already? I hope this one won't be as simple-minded as Jaken. A new envoy turns out as goof as Butu. I will quit. Ugh. Hey, I'll give you a test to find out. 
mysterious boy. Oh, what a surprise. Didn't know you'll come. You really care about the next envoy, huh? Maybe. Those words inspire me to continue onwards. It's about time. What? <laughs> Rise and show the world your power. Oh, okay. Looks like this one is awake. You must first pass this test. If you pass, you may continue. Ready? Yes? Ooh. Let's do this small test first. Small test, they're dragon. Okay. Alright, so I can do normal or I can turn on uh, auto attack. Auto basics attacks and stuff. How annoying. Why can't you finish it all at once? Oh. Oh, that's a that's a cool looking sword. That sword's actually different. Hey boy, can I help too? Oh, so we get the allies. I can switch out to them. Okay now. It's, oh that's really cool. Wow, this is the first time he offered to help someone. Unlike us, this one loves to work. And they even insult themselves? Pass through the door and prepare yourself for the next trial. Okay. For this one, you will fight the other gods' envoys. My brothers? Okay, that one made it. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Let's go. Huh. Let me take a good look at this. Oh, it gives me something to look forward to. These gods are very silly. What's this? I just got here, right? Why am I fighting a dragon lord? Okay. Oh yeah, let's go, guys. Hey, right, take that! Oh, he's getting angry. Uh, cutscene battle? Hi, what's wrong? Oh. Eh? This is the god's enemy? That, that light, just as I had expected. Are you hanging in there, okay? Hmm. Okay, go on. Okay. I do my fury attack. Oh, yeah, take that. Huh, this one is quite bright and shall join my red faction. Fool, he belongs to my blue faction. <laughs> the god, that's a bit silly. Okay, we get this nice quest complete animation. So, this is who you truly are. Oh. Most likely used up too much strength. Sorry, I must leave. Don't worry, we'll meet again. Mysterious boy? Interesting. It's time for me to go on and find a way to save the world from darkness. But perhaps you can... Can what? Can what? 
Wow, congratulations on passing the trial. Great job, you passed the test. You are now worthy of being a guard's envoy. Oh, and I forgot to introduce myself. You're in Lunari now. Call me Noelia. Nice to meet you. Lunari is where the gods reside. I am the god of strength, Buto. I am the god of wisdom, Jacob. Are you settled now? Before you run off, hear me out first. In Moravia, a certain mysterious shadow power is wrecking havoc, swarming all manners of abnormalities and other horrors. The, uh, the shadow monsters you defeated during the trial were all created by the shadow power. These anomalies must be stopped now. That's why we are looking for talented individuals such as you. In other words, the world is in great peril. We need a capable person to save up on our behalf. So I invited you to join my red faction and use your power to save the world. Are you blind? Our friend here is full of wisdom and patience. Why don't you join my blue faction and put your wisdom to good use? No, someone with such strength belongs to my red faction. Someone who thinks with such scarcity should obviously join the blue faction. These two gods may be lazy and irresponsible, they still serve as the guardians of this world. Please choose a faction so we can start saving the world. Thanks. There, is, there isn't a big difference between the two factions, just go with what feels right. Technically it is because blue faction always wins, while red faction always loses in a ranked event. But I'm always going red, so I'm just going to go red faction. <laughs> you picked my faction. I knew you'll make the right choice. Now that you're officially a god's envoy, I shall grant you a life. Lives are the professions in this world. There are a total of 12 lives. If you start a life in Ravonia, you need to adapt at least one life. Allow me to quickly explain these lives. Oh, okay. Fighters are combat experts. Mm -hmm. And gatherers. And then crafters. Nice. We will cover all these in this series. Okay, Goose, pick a life that interests you. Okay, so... A life that picks me. Okay, so in this whole series, I'll be... And I have a Trials of the Stars thing. I'll link it down over here. I will cover every single one of these lives. And each time I complete a life, I will ask the community what life they would like to see next, which can be quite interesting. There is a lot of dialogue in these and a lot of funny things actually happen. It gets really interesting and not every single life is all the same, which makes this game so unique. And there's also some lives if you do a magician life, I know that alchemists come out to the magician one, and so forth. So you get a bit of both in a little thing. But my favorite life to be for combat, obviously, is a paladin. Very like I really much like this one. Okay. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite starting life is. Maybe it's a chef. Your class license. Don't lose it. Hey, all right. Good. You also need some allies to fight along with you. I will sign one to join you now. Here in this garden, you will use my power to summon trusty allies and powerful gear. You have four attempts for this special summon. Okay, so this is the gacha things. And these are some of the characters you can start out with. Personally, getting a combat person is alright. The best one is Sloan. Otherwise, the best blacksmith is Ray. The best carpenter is Kennedy. And the best tailor is Klaus. Chef, Miss Sophie. So, without further ado, let's do our four summons and see what happens. Hopefully, I would love Sloan to be honest. 
Ah, Grant. Who's that? Why? Why? Rude? Eh. Hey, Jake. Okay. Think I'll go with Jake. Great. Allies summoned will be registered under allies. Uh, there's something else. <laughs> Almost forgot. You also need this. Ooh. This is a handbook called My Friends. When you run into difficulties, open it to get help. And now, you're all set to investigate the shadow power. Oh, and here's a important lead. A few days ago, we sent Lani, Detective Pico, to the surface to investigate the shadow power. He left emissions that say the black dragon burns, and then we lost contact. Must have found something. If you find him, maybe you'll solve the mystery of the shadow power, right? This is Pico. Oh, okay. Surprise? Huh, Pico is a small white dragon. Well, to get to the bottom of this shadow power blight, you need to find Pico first. Meet many, anyone in distress along the way, don't hesitate to help. That's part of your duty of God's envoy. I will send you to the surface now. My twin sister will be there. She so will further assist you. And Goose, give my regard to Elia. Oh? God's envoy will be here, huh? Wonder what kind of person they are. Eh? A shooting star! I should make a wish. Let's wish for. Oh! Cutscene! Oh, this is the intro. So, this is going to let you know this game was originally called Fantasy Life Twin Moons or Fantasy Life 2, but Level 5 scrapped that idea and moved on to more of a mobile version, which is very sad. Um, and then they cut ties in the West, and as of. Um, what is it? The 18th, 2023, uh, there was an article where Level 5 is actually thinking of starting back up in the West, and they also have a new IP coming. So, maybe we could finally get that Switch version? We don't know. There's a Twin Moons. Are you alright? I landed on my face. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, does that happen in the 3DS version as well when you go through Pam's roof? Uh, are you okay? Butter scratch. Uh, are you a goose? <laughs> I knew it. Nice to meet you. My name is Nuelia. A former resident of Lana, Lanari. You're in Nomona, the first place where the goddess showed the seeds of life. I've been expecting you, Goose. Unlike no Noelia, I can't use the amazing powers of Lani. But I'll do my best to assist the god's envoy down here on the surface. So, that's it. That's... Now. Go ahead and touch the goddess statue. Hmm... Oh. The goddess statue has come back to life. You're amazing, God's envoy. Now, we just start your first adventure. Eh, Goose, I'd like to say this again. It was rid of area of the anomalies brought about by the shadow power. To be honest, we know very little about the shadow power. 
I've also heard that Lani and Detective Pico disappearance, which is our only lead at the moment. Message was Black Dragon Burns. What could it mean? Goose. To find Pico, the first place to look is Grassy Plains. After finishing your investigation in Riveria, return to the Goddess Statue. That will allow you to confirm your abilities as a God's Envoy. Okay. Goose, uh, I'm a little nervous right now, but don't worry, I'll do my best to lead the way. Okay. Main story chapter one. The girl and the dragon of light. Oh, interesting. Okay. So let's do our first act of the main storyline and progress. Oh, look at all these areas. So sadly, in the Fantasy Life version, we didn't get the Lava Cave, which is a big sad. Oh, yes. So you can do what you like, get the minimap, just kind of like in the 3DS version. We're in grass, grassy plains, Goose. Go find the white dragon, Lunari, Detective Pico. But what is this black dragon burns exactly? No idea. <laughs> Guess only Pico will answer that for me. Except we don't have the faintest idea where he is. Finding him on such a vast plains is like finding a needle in the haystack. We need to ask around. Good point. Let's start with the locals. Wait, I just nodded. What do you mean good point? Good nod? Goose, look, there's a paladin over there. If he's been guarding the entrance of the grassy plains, he might have heard or seen something. Go ask him. Ooh, flower. Incredible! He's sleeping standing up. Morning! Uh, morning! Uh, nothing amiss. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. Huh? You know the captain. Wow, you scared me. <laughs> uh, sorry to bother you, but have you seen a white dragon lately? A white dragon? Uh, no I haven't. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary happening? We have? We are having a few troubles lately, if that's what you're asking. We've got new carities causing trouble over in the Western Highlands, but I can't leave my post. I'm needed here as a guide. Ah, uh, are the monsters going berserk due to the shadow powers? Hmm, apparently. Well, sir, how about you let us handle these carities for you? Really? They'll be great, but you gotta be careful. Sure! Off we go then, Goose. Alright. This like in the normal games, we're fighting a low mobs. In this one, it is crabs. I mean, carrots. Thinking of what's always, why is it always crabs? Goose, is that our target? Yes, they do look like carrots, as the name suggests. Careful. Oh man, I am weak. Well done. Let's report back to the paladin. Okay, let's go back. Ooh. He's sleeping again. He's dozing off again. Excuse me! Ah! You do again. How did it go? Did you get lost? We took care of the carotids. You did? That was fast. Fingers destroyed them and made it look easy. You? You would have fought. Thank you. Now I can finally focus on my job. What is your job exactly? Ah, by the way, there's something important you need to know. 
While you would roam in the grassy plains, watch out for the Nap Dragon. Nap Dragon? Ah. Ah, yep. Enormous dragon known as patron saint of Castel. It comes down from the mountains once in a while to get some sun. It's harmless, unless provoked. Unless you want to get burnt to ashes, it never ruffle its feathers. It has feathers? But I get money. Ashes, you say? And there's a rumor among experts and masters that Nat Dragon will be their next opponent in the Trials of Strength. You will, you will be fine as long as you don't go and rile it up. Ooh. I see, thank you. Sure, good luck with your search for the White Dragon. Did we ask him about the White Dragon? Yeah, and good luck with your duties. We had no luck finding the clues about Pico, but we've made the day for a paladin. If you see someone in need, just talk to them and hear their woes. Take it. I take it that you understand what, what the duties as a god's envoy are, Goose. Hmm. Oh, and Goose, as usual, after leading, lending a helping hand, return to the goddess statue and report what happened. From now on, let's go back to Namona. What is an adventure? Goose, it seems you have completed the quest. Report back to the goddess statue whenever you finish a quest. Okay. Try and tap report to the main story. Okay. Oh. Oh, I like her clapping animation. <laughs> Ooh. Everything is going well, and finally, Goose, follow the main story to find out about the mystery of the shadow power. Hmm. Bro, what? there we have it that was the very first episode for the main storyline for fantasy life online and remember guys if you want to have a more relaxing one and you don't want to listen to my voice you can do so with one with no voice and no cam links in the description down below if you guys like this one make sure you smash that like button for the red and subscribe if you haven't already so you know when re up to date episodes come out also put main story ones here and i'll put the trials of the stars episodes at the end Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goose out. Wow.